Hey guys, we're back again today. As always, hope you guys are all doing good. And we're going to take a look at some more Mini GT stuff. This is a casting that I have never actually seen in person yet. This is going to be the Mini GT Lincoln Capri. So we have the version in Premier Yellow that is going to be number 561. And then we're also going to have number 611. It is the Lincoln Capri number 149 from the 1954 Carrera Pan America class, and it was the winner, or the, yeah, it was the winner. So, there you go, you got all the Ford licensing on the back, your TSM sticker along with your UPC, and then on the other one, same stuff, there's your UPC on this one, so let's get them cracked open. I do not have, so this casting actually came out this year, so this was a new casting for 2023, and uh, there's been some really interesting different things with this casting. So we have the three global release versions, which we have these two right here. And then we also have the first version that was released and it was just a black one. I need to get that one, I don't have it yet. So there was also a couple, um, a couple different ones that were hard to find. So Mini GT made this car for a friend. It was a one of one car made for that friend and they actually released a version of it, I think, I don't remember what livery it was, I haven't really seen the car too much, I think it had some cool decals on it, but there was a New York Toy Fair show earlier this year, and they made one of these Lincolns for it, and it was limited to one out of 150, so they only made 150 of them, I have not been able to get my hands on it, uh, if I ever see one, Someday I will probably try to grab it because it's a really cool piece, but in the meantime We will just have to enjoy the regular releases, which is totally fine by me because I think this is a really neat car So let's take a look at it And here is the premier yellow. So this is a really big car It's very I know people have said in other videos that it's very heavy, but it's very long So let me grab something to compare it to all right, so here is a McLaren Senna. This was the uh, Shmi version. And comparing it to the Lincoln Capri, you can just see how massive this car is. It's super long, super tall, super thick, just a big chunky boy. So really cool casting, I think anyways. It's got the really nice like uh, um, white wall tires and then it's got like the the sh super shiny chrome hubcaps on there. Obviously the back wheel is inset a little bit into the car and it kind of goes up behind the back wall. You can see some really nice silver lines going down the side, really nice body work. There's a little bit of a wording right there. I think that probably says Capri. Very nice door handle details right there. There's some silver going around the windows. The mirror, this car actually only has a mirror on the driver's side, but the mirror is that same silver color and it is rubber. So very nice. And then at the front right here, you can see that it says Lincoln right above that stripe, which looks really good. It's in that cursive. And then going to the front, you can actually see it's got the pot, like the popped up badge right here, which looks really nice. It's got two little two little rows on either side and then it kind of points forward. I imagine this is probably a really fragile piece so we're not going to mess with it too much. You can see the Lincoln badging right there with some silver right in the center. The headlights look really nice. They are acrylic inserted. They look awesome. They've got a little bit of chrome going around them and then like some little claws kind of holding them in. And then on the top right here you actually have a little silver piece going down as well. Nice big chrome bumper. Looks really good. And then maybe a little bit of like grill detailing right here where that black stripe is. So it looks really good. Um, silver around the windshield just like with the side windows. And more silver accenting going along this side and also the rear windows. So that looks really nice especially with this uh, glossy black top. And then coming around to this side pretty much the same details. This is a two door car which I think is kind of cool for how big it is. But you've got more of the silver pinstriping going up and down the car along with on the... Uh, the side skirt right there same wheels they look amazing and then going around to the ear end or the rear end you've got this big old trunk back here with the Lincoln badging as well and you've got the big rear bumper it's got some really nice chrome paint there's an exhaust pipe coming out right here and that exhaust pipe is going to run all the way up into right here on the base which looks really nice the base is pretty well detailed and then your taillights are also going to be 
Um, actually, these don't look to be acrylic inserted. It looks like they actually come off of the bumper piece, but they are painted in a really nice like chrome red paint, which makes it look really good. I can forgive these for not being um, for not being acrylic just because of how well Mini DT did them. So very nice car. It is a uh, just a classic American car. I think it looks pretty good. It's not my favorite car in the world, but I do. Um, I do think they're really cool. Definitely something that you should have in your collection if you like stuff like this. So that was the number 561. We'll take a look at the number 611 next. So we'll get it pulled out. I think I'm going to like this one a bit more just since it's a racing livery. Oh yeah, this thing looks really cool. So I've never seen this car before in real life. I'm sure we can find a picture to throw up on screen. Um, but I've never seen this car. I've never really heard about this car so I don't know a lot about it. So we're just gonna kinda look at the details and uh, leave it at that. But it's still got some of that nice silver pinstriping going down the side of the car and also down here with the Capri badge and the Lincoln badging up there. You can see the two flags right here look really nice. Got some names right here, Ray Crawford and Enrique Iglesias, pilot and co-pilot. Big number 149 on the door right there. You've got some uh, champion spark plugs badging right there. Um, I'm not sure what this logo is right there, but then you've got Crawford's Markets in Southern California. Looks really cool. Big old yellow Lincoln badging going across the side. And then on the roof right here, you can see V Carrera Penium. Pan American Mexico. <clears throat> I just butchered that, but big 149 on the roof in red, and it's also got like a cream white with a uh, yellow part towards the front. Going along to the other side, pretty much the same exact thing is mirrored onto the uh, passenger side of the car. Just looks really nice, really cool livery. And then on the front, you've got that Lincoln badge on the front again with the uh, logo and stuff right there. Got uh, some sort of little logo right here don't really know what that says it's got like a little guy on it with some words right there but then you've got the same acrylic inserted headlights on this one with the nice chrome bumper and that black stripe going along there really nice silver accents going all around looks really nice and then you've also still got all of those silver accents going around all the windows as we saw on that yellow one back there and the wheels on this one are different from the other one. These ones have just some black tires and then they've got just some like uh, yellow, yellow steel, steelies, I guess. I don't know. Just like some yellow wheels. You can see there's like five lugs in the center right there. It looks really cool. You've got the same exhaust pipe going from here all the way out to the back in chrome. It looks really good. Um, same trunk details with the Lincoln badging right there. Same chrome painted taillights on this one with the big chrome bumper. And I think this one looks really cool. It's kind of a little cute model. Um, I guess you would, I guess we would say like big cute models because these things are pretty massive. But um, I noticed that this one actually does not have a mirror like the road car does. You can see that mirror on the side right there. This one actually does not have any mirrors on it. So I don't know if that was to cut weight or what, but I really like these cars. I think they look pretty cool. Like I said, not my favorite car in the world by far, but they are kind of neat to have in the collection, just like some classic American cars. But uh, anyways, that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new to the channel want to see more cool stuff like this, and we will catch you guys in the next video.